Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and also welcome back to our Animal Crossing Let's Play. We are back on Callan, of course, our romantic coastal retreat and we're starting back here by T-Bone's place because that is exactly what I'd like to work on or should I rather say I'd actually like to work on his interior first. So I thought we would start outside so you can actually kind of see the vibe in case you haven't seen this island before. Um, as I said, it is supposed to be a romantic coastal retreat. So there's a whole bunch of white and blue, but also a little bit of pink. Sometimes, you know, there's like a little bit of a lace rug or just some cutesy details, etc. And the last thing that we worked on was this hyacinth lake, which basically leads all the way around it. And then here on the side, this is T-Bone's place. Everyone on this island has a specific storyline or a specific hobby that they're pursuing um, because they were kind of burnt out on their life like prior to living here. And T-Bone's story was that he was always somewhat misjudged, had to be strong, etc. And so he's trying to find out who he even is. And our idea was to give him a whole bunch of crafty hobbies. And also the idea was that he loves animals. So I think the outside will actually end up being something with a whole bunch of ducks, maybe bunnies. I do have this little turtle code. So I think that is what we're going to be doing next episode. For today, I'd like to focus on the interior and include a whole bunch of those hobbies. And I thought, you know what, this is actually his original house and I really like it. We might leave it like this. The only thing we might change in just a second is the door um, because I feel like the the current door looks very elegant whereas you know if he has a bunch of crafty hobbies whatever that really means um yeah then maybe the door would be a little bit more rustic or maybe somewhat like this shape or something so uh that is kind of the plan for today and now let's go ahead and talk to nook so that we can go ahead and get started on t-bone's interior okay i hope i have enough money with me but i think so i just got some from the bank i believe uh let's talk about a residence home please and then we're gonna get started on oh yes i do have enough money okay perfect yes so let's go ahead and do it i am ready and we're gonna talk to t-bone there we go oh t-bone was actually still sleeping oh my god look at him in his pgs that's very very cute i do love t-bone a lot i think he's very underrated so i'm excited to work on this all right so just like last time i will be putting on some lo-fi music again because i got a question last time this is the DMCA free lo-fi playlist on Spotify by the artist Slowfi. They make a whole bunch of like uh, game themes, etc., into lo-fi music. It's really, really cool. So in case any of you are wondering what we're listening to, that's that. And then let's get started. So similar to the last few times that we decorated some places, I also actually have a little inspo this time, which is another interior that I have done before uh, for my 14 day island challenge. But I've also actually brought this back on, I think my swamp island. I just kind of did something very similar on Sycamore. So my, my new like, you know, transition to fall island, I guess. So I've done this one a couple of times and I kind of want to, you know, take inspo from the layout. So I will kind of get started with that right away and kind of show you an idea. So, all right. So the first thing I think I want to do is I'll put down a bed over here and I just kind of want to show you the layout that I've got planned. All right. And then in the back here, I've got the medium wooden partition and then I have two tension pole racks kind of like this. And then that moves inwards. And then this over here is this like open, open shelving unit. There we go. So this is kind of the layout that I have. And then I also, I don't know if I'm going to actually bring that over. I just do want to show you quickly though. Um, I do also have this like couch kind of in front of this with some more like, you know, Moroccan foot rests, et cetera, et cetera. And I thought this layout would be kind of perfect for him just because I think we can include a whole bunch of different hobbies this way and a whole bunch of different crafted items. When I looked into creating the storyline, a couple of the things I found that I really liked were, for example, the paint cans or, you know, the toolbox or there's this like paint set and stuff like that. So that's kind of the type of hobbies that I'm somewhat leaning, uh, leaning towards to. So first, first off, I believe we should probably try and find like some type of wallpaper situation as usual. And the last interior that we did was actually tutus, which was very pink. Like that really was pink galore. You know, she's a ballerina. She loves pink. Her original house is very pink. Um, I feel like T-Bone kinda is not that. T-Bone, I feel like is gonna have a bunch more yeah, more like the white and blue aesthetic. 
kind of not too much though. I feel like some of this is going to be too much. I kind of like the idea of maybe having uh, a little brick wall, um, you know, because it's like a bit more of a sturdy wall, if you will. I don't know if you can call it that really, but it just kind of might make sense. And then, I mean, this is very, very pretty. Um, on the note of him always having to be strong, maybe, you know, he's finally able to embrace his soft side. There's also this little storyline going on where I kind of imagine him and uh, Flurry being in a relationship. You know, he came onto this island. He was set in his ways, used to people kind of expecting him, expecting him to be strong. There we go. Um, and so he thought he can't be, he can't be soft. He can't show emotions. He can't show the fact that he loves, you know, flowers and I don't know, just anything that is apparently considered soft by society. And, uh, she showed him that that's not true, that he can very much do that. And, um, now he embraces it. Maybe, maybe that's the story. And so now his wallpaper has you know flowers on it a little flower print and he loves it i feel like that's good all right so we could go for this like light birch white wood it's called or the white birch that way around um i don't know i feel like the white birch is always hard to incorporate with other things i guess it also depends on what color we use here because obviously we could make this we can make this all white because these all are kind of like from the same collection of items i guess so this could all be white it could also be blue i guess it could also be this like ash can this be the ash the, the ash color too yes all right actually also not terrible especially considering you know he lives super close to the ocean oh i see i see the culprit okay so this couldn't exist in in the ashy color so we'd have to go with this in a different one i guess Oh, kind of sad, kind of sad. I mean, you know, we could connect like that all the way over, but like the the shelving does get kind of repetitive, I guess. So I'm not sure about that one. How about the other one? Um, the singular like partition thing, small wooden partition. It does have that opening, which is a little weird maybe. Also does not come in ash. Why? Okay, that that is a big why for me. Okay. We could still move the bed just like to the very back or I also on my inspo section I have the bookshelf. I'm not sure I really want that for him though but technically you know then this could be a bookshelf if I can find it. Oh wait oh my god it was right above it. <laughs> so I mean you know this could also be made into somewhat of a bookshelf. I just don't really know if I see him with like books. I feel like, you know, I like this customization, but if that makes the entire rest of this be too complicated, then uh, we might also just go for maybe the blue one or maybe the white one. I feel like the blue is quite aggressive though, isn't it? Lightwood, I'm not really loving next to the others though. And then the thing I love doing when I've got the medium wooden partition is I like to use like wall mounted stuff. There's a couple of things I always repeat in my own interiors just because I found that I love them and then I just kind of reuse certain ideas. And so the, the one thing is either doing something like this and then it's a whole bunch of like, you know, plant stuff. Uh, or in the inspo picture, like it was actually a house for Patty before, um, I had this garland there, which is also quite cute. In this case, you know, we would change the color probably, maybe even to blue, somewhat like this, or, I mean, you can probably have anything else. Anything else that kind of hangs on the wall would probably go through the partition and that way look kind of cute. I don't know if this one, for example, shows. Okay, this one doesn't. That one doesn't quite. All right. The stars, the stars also show. Interesting. Macrame also shows. Oh, macrame because he was, he made it. He, he, he made the macrame, right? Now I know it comes in this blue variation, but I don't know if I like that one because it's a very like turquoise blue. All right. So idea, let's change this back to white. And then what about this actually being blue? You know, 
And then I still think we need to change the bed. The bed might actually have to change to something completely different. Um, what else do we have? Again, the issue with the patchwork bed. He would not have, he would not have the elegant one. I don't think so. Maybe the wooden customization of these is just going to be too hard to fit in. I know that one of these here comes in like the perfect, like I think this might fit. But this is kind of the bed that we had for uh, Tutu already. And I just, I don't really see that for, I just don't really see that for T-Bone, I believe. Okay, what if we have all of this in blue? Asking for friend, of course. Also just quickly checking seaside, flowers, train. Oh, and it can also be like a custom design, but seaside is probably good, right? All right, I might not love the wallpaper in that case because now the shades of blue are very, very different. But like technically or generally, I kind of like it. We can also make everything in this and then just have like an accent wall or something. I could also change this back one to an accent wall to be fair. Okay, I do like the bricks. At least against that back wall, I do like the bricks and I'm also just gonna briefly turn off the light i think because we're working with enough like daylight it's like 7 a.m outside or you know it's like 7 a.m in the game <laughs> so i feel like that's enough um and then if we use blue i think we can get away with this being like the either white wood or even the birch wood i mean the birch wood looks a bit more rustic maybe that's what we need and then i almost want to give him a checkered okay wait i might not like the white birch okay how about something like that maybe to start with okay i like that now um there's a few things i still want to try out uh number one as i wanted to see because i do have these like window coats but i have a feeling that the the edge won't end perfectly with like the um with the shelf there Oh wait, plus, wait, that doesn't work. I'd have to use, oh wait, no, never mind. I would have to use another wallpaper, obviously, um, with the sticker thingies. All right. Yeah, that's, I feel like that's a good start. Um, the flooring might still change as well. It doesn't have to be this. I feel like maybe the white, the white bricks all around might be like a tiny bit too bright almost. I think wallpapers, I won't lie, are probably one of my least favorite things to figure out. There's just too many options and everything kind of works, but also kind of doesn't. I just never really love it. Or I guess like this side here could also be, wow, <laughs> maybe not, <laughs> maybe not. That's quite, that's quite a lot of stuff. I was going to say this side could also be something with like walls, uh, something with like the windows, you know, um, because that is basically where the beach is. But I kind of think that I'm not loving that. OK, let's just kind of work with this for now. Now, in the original thing, I had a sofa on the left hand side. Um, let's see if maybe we can get away with the floor being like a bit darker. Maybe this, it kind of depends on the shade of wood that we have going forward. Um, but yeah, so I had a sofa in the original one, but I think, I don't know if I want to have a sofa. I believe the best thing to do is probably to go through and to grab a couple of things that remind me of like crafting or, you know, like crafty hobbies. And then we're going to try and assemble them. We might also do like this big table or something. Oh, speaking of, um, actually... I might just uh, go and include a little table by the bedside already, kind of like that, which also could be, you know, white or blue, I guess. I guess blue because the white is very reflective. Yeah, that's a little bit better. OK, we will we will um, probably need to incorporate some more lock furniture if we really want to make the bed work. So I will just set down a little lock stool for later use, I guess. Okay, so let's go through the miscellaneous things and I will pick out anything that I feel like is a crafty hobby. 
Which I think mostly brings us towards this last point here. Um, I feel like a bottled ship would be cute. The model in clay, the painting set. I could also see him have a sea globe for sure. Um, there's a few like play things, not as much as a hobby, I feel like. Here are the paint cans. He might even take up some like sewing or knitting even. That might be somewhat cute. I'm going to put down the wooden toolbox. Oh, definitely the office materials. And then he could also have something like a scrapbook, you know, or generally like books would probably be a good idea to have. And I mean, at the end of the day, let's be honest, it is an interior that I'm building. So he will probably also have some type of plants. Um, we might give him a shell speaker. Maybe he's into photography because he wants to take pictures of all the animals outside of his home or something. And then, I mean, there's a lot of cooking stuff, which is also kind of a hobby that he might try. But I think, you know, being in a relationship with Flurry, he would kind of do that over there. And like, he wouldn't have that entire setup in his own house. And then I think in addition, you know, he could have some bottle crates or like cardboard boxes or something just to store a couple of things. Alrighty, so with all of this, so this is all the miscellaneous stuff that needs to be put in, which means we do need a bunch of surfaces to put these things on, right? Um, now, why don't we go through it and customize these how we would want them to look? Now, I quite like this crafty stuff, but um, we can also make it either into the fabric tape, because I quite like these colors, or what is it called? Curing tape. Interesting. I might like the crafting tape best. All right, pan cans would definitely need to be, I guess, this color here. A little bit of a kid core, not kid core, like a spring core moment. It's somewhat cutesy. These either in blue or white, of course. The fish bowl, you know what? That might be here or here. Actually, this is kind of nice. I don't know if this works. But I guess this kind of ties in the color of his bed. So maybe we need to embrace that. Um, and then as for this cardboard box, I think the only thing that comes into consideration is the like package, the parcel package thingy. Okay, bottled ship works perfectly fine. That could be, I don't want that to be in the same location as the, the, the fish, but you know, somewhere there. Here is the sewing box which i guess kind of works in navy blue and i believe we could also open this one up okay here's the sewing project i guess also blue next up there's the modeling clay which i don't know i guess we can either go with like the natural colors or well, this is too much like turquoise or we'll go with the dinosaur that's kind of like this. The shell, I kind of would actually give him right here towards the front. Like maybe he collects shells from the beach, you know, maybe that's the story behind this one here. It's a big, it's a big shell. It's a big shell, but it might just, might just make sense to the front there. Okay, scrapbook comes kind of in this little kid kid variation i don't know if i like that one i mean you know could be true but i don't know here is the light blue or the white in this case i might go for the white and then maybe we'll even put down maybe he was trying to draw oh yeah maybe he was trying to draw some shells actually that's kind of cute and then of course the book's also in blue all right so far so good. Now, other things that I could see here, I could definitely imagine having like a big table uh, or some type of like project table or something. And there's obviously a bunch of stools that can work. So I'm, I don't know, I'd be open to having like a footrest or wooden stool or the Zen cushion, like pretty much general things that I always really like. I wanna get, I, I don't know, I wanna give him like a table, I think. Um, plus, we still really need to have a workbench. In case you didn't know this, um, so the villagers in the DA also craft exactly the way that they do on your regular island, which I personally kind of hate. <laughs> 
But that means that, you know, you know how you walk into people's houses and sometimes someone is crafting and they have like a workbench up. That's exactly what they do in the DA also. Only you don't necessarily have like they don't necessarily have a workbench in their home. And so they just replace other things in their house with a workbench, which we hate because we're taking a lot of time curating these exactly how we want them to be. And then they just go and replace whatever we put there. And because I want to stop that from happening, I'm trying to include as many like workbenches into their houses as I possibly can so that the risk is just reduced as much as possible, I guess. All right. I like the project table, even if just because of the name, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, the ranch table, I think doesn't really work with the aesthetic. The ranch table would have existed in this like vintage color though, which would have been great for the shelf situation. And then apart from that, it does come in uh, white, which color wise could work, I think. And it does come in blue, which I don't think quite works. Yeah, the wood color doesn't really seem that great. Um, I just I just believe that the project table has some type of it has this DIY vibe, right? Where the wood plank table also kind of works. This one would probably be best in the light wood. Okay, which one do I prefer? Oh, the camera. Oh my God, what customizations does the camera come in? Oh, okay. White or dark blue? I like the white one. I don't know if he's really like that much into tech stuff, but let's just assume maybe he was outside. He was collecting shells. He found this giant shell somewhere and then he was taking pictures. And so he just got into his house and he kind of put those down for now. Right, okay, which table do I prefer? Nook, please. Get out of the way, thank you. Okay, yeah, I do like the project table, I think. So maybe project table, uh, maybe with some wooden stools. By the way, if you hear my controller clicking and stuff, I apologize, I've, I'm sitting, I'm sitting like a pretzel in my chair right now. <laughs> That's also, the, okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's also the good thing about no cam stuff because I literally, I've got like one leg folded under me right now. The other one is like, is like upright basically. Like I'm leaning onto my knee. And so yeah, my controller is like right by the mic. So in case you hear that, I apologize. I hope that's okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Can't lie to you. I do like uh, sitting like a shrimp or pretzel every once in a while. <laughs> Okay, we might give him like some coastal fabric here. Fabric here. Oh, this is actually a bit interesting with the with the um with the table. Maybe we'll go with the light wood. Does that fit? That fits way better. And then we'll go with the d darker design. Might still change around the bed too. I'm kind of gonna try around with whatever I like best. Okay, and then you also go. Yeah, light wood, or do we prefer white? Well, I, li I like the white wood better than the blue one, that's for sure. But I think this is the best, probably. Okay, and then let's go through what else we can use over here. So, um, yeah, I mean, different surfaces, different tables. We're going to need to include probably like a rug or something. And... Right now, if I imagine all of this to be gone and put onto some surfaces, then this is going to be awfully, awfully empty, which I don't love. I do like to have stuff kind of just all around the room and not just against the outer edges. Okay, here is an idea. How about a Moroccan footrest as his almost like bedside table? I mean, there's a lot going on already, but maybe this is his bedside table and this is where he'll have... I don't know, some flowers or something, you know, or maybe the ship goes there or maybe the, the fish goes here. The fish is a bit of a weird color also, isn't it? Maybe we'll remove it. Maybe the ship will go on there and then this will be some flowers that he, he got from Flurry, maybe. Uh, there we go. Casablanca lilies are always quite nice or, you know, they could also go over here. Casablanca lilies or my other favorite is the anthurium plant. I mean, we don't really have 
that many options when it comes to like the plants in this size, do we? Yeah, or maybe, you know, he deposited his camp. Actually, wait, that is that a little weird? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, bottle here, um, lilies here, I think. And then we just, we might need to inc include some other um, plants or flowers around some other parts. Like, oh wait, we can have a big one here in front of the desk uh, table, sorry. That's something my German brain sometimes confuses, is the difference between desk and table. I understand that like a, a desk is kind of for, you know, studying like schoolwork and stuff. Um, like I'm in real life, I'm sitting at my desk right now with my monitor set up and everything. Uh, but if it's like where you, I don't know, just like a side table or also like where you eat, those are tables, I guess. I don't know. Correct me if that's wrong. I'm not necessarily 100% certain on that. Alrighty. Okay. So I kind of like this. Um, now we just need to think about, I like this part to the front also, actually. Like this here now, he has his, some tools there. You know, he found the shell. There's a camera. There's a little plant. And, you know, we'll worry about the... And we'll worry about the wall stuff at a little bit of a later point in time. Not sure about the colors now that I see them here because they seem very different to everything else. But okay. This isn't necessarily supposed to be there. Okay, what are good things to put on the table right here? I mean... I think all of these projects are, I guess, somewhat good. So either the clay, the painting, or the sewing. You know, I mean, this actually could work. This could work, yes. And then we still need a workbench. So let's go through this stuff again. Uh, I also like the idea of the wooden end table. I just thought about that maybe here in front of that as additional like storage space or something. It probably depends on what we would store there. Okay. Another table? Oh, wait. Okay, how would it look if there is another small table here? And I think it would have to also be the wooden one. And then I don't know if that's if that's perfect. But like here, and then this is where <laughs> my headspace, my head cannon thing is getting away with me, or the Zen bench thing. Um, and then you will put like Zen cushions down, and that is you know where. T-Bone and Flurry kind of sit and talk and have food. Plus, of course, more storage space at the end of the day. I feel like that's probably the primary idea behind this. Uh, let's do like a softer print on this. And this could be this could be white. OK, well, in that case, I wouldn't want to have the wooden end table right there. OK, let's remove the paint cans. Maybe this is going to be where, you know, we've got some books or some stickers and stuff. Hmm. I mean, I guess I don't mind the idea of it, but I guess with the with the st ooh, with the stuff in front, that would just be too much the same or not really the same, but oh wait. But the layering of of things is just different. Oh, maybe wait, 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 wait. What if we just turn them around? Like what if we exchange them? The taller table goes to the back, the lower one in the front. I don't know if we can use the one that we currently have, but because I think it it hangs over to the side here. But maybe this is like a project, you know, that Flurry and T-Bone work on together. Why did I remove the wooden stool? I could have still used that. Okay, I had this and then I think it had the same print on it as the the bed does as of right now. So there we go. You go here, another one there, you go there and there. These here I feel like need to be different. Oh, how? Okay, not terrible. Still not really my favorite. Still not really my favorite. It's stuff is still up for deba debate, of course. Um, other idea? How about having this twisted around? like so with the chairs like in front of it obviously like this eh. i think i preferred the first version 
Hold on. <laughs> Please hold the line. Okay, so there we go. Painting still correct, and then the clay work was here. And then the little wooden chairs go right there. We'll remove the Zen cushions for now. And we'll kind of think about this part a little bit more. I still have the um, the wooden end table as an idea, but for now, let's go further through the category. Okay, here's a couple of cabinets that might work, but that again, I'm not I'm not really sure of. Um, Something we could have also done instead of like the, sorry, instead of this here, something I also like to do is just using this at the very head or at the, at the foot of the bed also kind of works. Like the blue one here though. All right. And here are the workbenches. So let's see what we've got. I don't want to use the rustic one. I don't think that one's quite correct. And then I, I almost want to give him a bit of a bigger workbench. But I'm afraid it's not going to look nice in terms of the color because... Or not even just because of the color, but because of the entire setup. So the natural, here's an ash brown one that could have worked. And then the white one, I feel like... Uh, I don't know, you know? <laughs> but this could be... Oh god, I really hope it looks good. Okay, we got, of course, the mini DIY workbench, which also comes in ash brown, gray... And this one comes in blue also, which is quite cute, but don't really know how I would place it. Um, I think the cute one probably doesn't work quite that well. Yeah, no. And the one I'm hoping for is the oak one. But the, the wood color is probably going to be the issue here. Because the idea would be then to place it like this. You know? And then he... It, there might be just like distraction from the rest. Okay, the wood color. The wood color is not the best. Should I have started with that one maybe? Oh, what, you know what now? Now maybe the ranch stuff would fit. Oh, there's definitely some boxes here that can work. Like these boxes. I don't think I really want to give him trash like bags but a trash can like a wooden waste bin that might make sense i think this might be a good place for a plant to be fair but somewhere like what if we put the boxes there or the boxes would kind of go if he can stand in the center of the workbench that will be enough right okay i'm not loving that one i'm liking the books but i think the books need to go somewhere else I'm almost tempted to bring the fish back. <laughs> um, and then the idea was, so let's imagine this is another plant, you know? Okay, what if this is to the front there? Still also works. Kind of like the Monstera though. Yeah, this covers just a lot of this. I feel like one flower has to be to the left and one to the right or something. Like, I feel like they shouldn't be too close together in the entire lineup and then i did i did kind of like this one here ship could be there too and then maybe this is just a lower plant you know almost like this like this is, is this is maybe like a yucca okay let's pretend this is how we're going to continue it how about we fill up that back corner we add something like small and low to this or the sewing kit could work here too I feel like that's too much like a kid, kid core type of thing. Yeah, sewing kit next to the workbench. There's books over there. I feel like that could actually be something a little bit higher too. And then maybe the waste bin is just going to be over here. Oh, there. And we'll, we'll, give, we'll give him like a little bit of paper chaos. Because he's, he's, he needs to live out his hobbies, you know? Uh, can we give him illustrations? Not really. Manuscript paper? I mean, it's better than the essay thing, but not perfect. I, I just, I hate all types of... Could be flyers? Oh, that looks weird on the floor, though. No, no, let's do... Let's give him 
Let's give him a manuscript paper, I guess. It's kind of busy, but I also kind of think it works. Actually. All right. And then I want to give him like maybe some cookies or something like some treats for when he's, you know, hard at work or hardly working <laughs> so he can have some treats back here to snack on. I mean, probably Flurry brought over. Oh, weird because there's like no pink here. I feel like all the snacks I usually go for kind of won't work out. Um, and I don't have that many options. Scones? Feels like I'm working on my Encanto Island all over again. <laughs> okay, maybe some cupcakes. I feel like these match Nook, uh, Tom Nook right now, but Tom Nook isn't going to be here. And then I feel like they look a little out of place, huh? Okay. I do not... Oh, wait, I do. I was going to say, I don't even have my brown sugar cupcakes. I mean, these are great, but again, I feel like almost a little out of place. These would be brought over by by Flurry though, so does it matter if they fit or not? I, I don't know. It might. It might. Apple pie. Oh my god, stop. I haven't had lunch yet. <laughs> it's kind of like, so it's 3 p.m. for me right now in real life. So I feel like that's kind of lunchtime, right? I should, yeah. Oh wait, maybe that's cute. Maybe that's cute. Tom, what do you think? What do you think? All right. You know what? It is a little messy, but that's that's what hobbies are supposed to be. And, you know, T-Bone can still craft here. He's got snacks nearby. He's got boxes. He's got a trash can. He's got more hobbies over here. Some stuff that he stores over there. Um, We could try and put on some music, but I, there, it's not going to play, unfortunately, in the in the DA because they, they stopped doing that after the 2.0 update. Oh, speaking of, I actually went ahead and I literally cataloged or like got all the music tracks. So, which, wait, it doesn't look like I did here. Why? Wait, I swear I did. I just did so many Treasure Island runs. Uh, it must not translate into this home thingy or maybe just the next day or something. I'm confused. Anyway, I promise I did. I promise that I did. Um, okay, I like it. I like it. Now, there are still, of course, a couple of categories that we have not looked at. Number one, let's check if we should do a different floor. But I think, yeah, I don't think I like this like very dark one. And I don't think I want something like this. I feel like that's a little bit too too out there. I don't think I want something quite as light as this. Even though it kind of also can work. I kind of I'm actually not mad at either this or the common flooring. And then the other thing I wanted to see was whether I want to have a carpet. So Yeah, that would be a little wild maybe. Uh, but we can also do a shaggy rug, which again, very, very blue though. Kind of cute though, isn't it? I feel like the blue doesn't quite fit. I wish there was also like a white shaggy rug. And then my usual combo obviously is the round mats, but I'm going to like them, but they're not going to look very like hobby crafty. Let's go with the shaggy rug. Let's try it. I am, uh, yeah, I'm going to be waiting to hear what y'all think um, of the rug situation and the the floor situation. And, and I mean, I guess generally like everything. Um, and then we can always come back and change this later on because I might, I might do like one episode where I kind of go through a bunch of the requested like changes or like tips, um, things that people would kind of do differently. And we might change a couple of things up or maybe sometimes I'll also just be like, nope, <laughs> it does happen. Okay. Not bad. All right. T next up. Um, you know, something I've been wanting to use this entire time. I'm not going to lie is this here just because doing a coastal theme, I feel like we kind of have to, it's like not bad, but I feel like the romantic part of this island theme is too present for this, isn't it? So in the inspo thing, I actually had plants on here. I had these plants here, the potted ivy, because it was a fall island. I used this, but I guess in this case, that would make sense. 
I can't even lie to you. I like that. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about plans here. It's not really all that shocking that I like that, right? Um, but it also could be used on like a different wall, maybe. And then this will be this will be reserved for. Uh, I guess I want to try that garland, maybe. Yeah, because I mean this is also fine. Ish. What about this one in blue? Or white. Actually, there's a lot of blue already, so this one might be white. Mm, it kind of glitches into our little crafty box. Okay, well, um, he might have crafted a shell wreath, right? And plus, I mean, no, actually the fossil door plate, no thank you. But he might have crafted a shell wreath, maybe even a flower wreath or something. Um, I do want to bring in the light switch because I kind of always have this. I quite like it. So that one goes like here maybe. And maybe we can have a picture in addition to the wreath here, like the frame poster. And then a lot of times I personally just like to include uh, like prints, basically like fabric coats. Is that the same one as the bed sheets? Yeah. Okay, maybe light switch over here. Oh wait, maybe this can be like flowers. Frame flowers, yeah, why not? Oh, and maybe we can just bring the party garland thing over here. You know, a little cheery coastal moment. This is something he also crafted, but it's like a little bit more subtle, maybe. I'm not quite sure. Let me know what y'all think about that one, okay? And then maybe we just bring the potted flowers back over to this part right here. Like this. It's very blue. You know, um, in comparison to two 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 two's was very pink. This is very blue. Um, we've got a few crafty things. Um, actually, I think I might want to include a little light over here. Maybe like a, an artsy one. <laughs> he made this himself. You know, the crafting is is getting out of hand. Maybe. Uh, and maybe we can actually just bring in a ceiling fan. I haven't thought about that, but that might be nice. Just like here. Why not? It wouldn't be like off center, right? Although this would be the, in the center of of those two shelves somewhat. Okay, just like the other houses, he might also have the calendar of the spa and community center things up on his wall right there. Maybe this time the blue version right here to the front of the, like with the crafty table. Or is the blue a little bit too threatening maybe? <laughs> I don't know why it's threatening, but... Maybe it's white. Maybe Flurry bought him this. Okay, and then maybe something else by the um, by the bed here, like a flower wreath, dried flowers. He dried these himself, of course. Yes, yes, you got it. Alrighty, and then I just wanted to try one last thing, which is bringing over this painting onto this side. Hmm. Okay, I kind of like something there, but maybe not that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, the classic broom and dustpan. Okay, here comes a German saying, right? Wo gehobelt wird, Fallenspäne. We need some, uh, we need something to clean up all the mess he's making when he is crafting. When he's doing his hobby stuff. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Might even go exactly into the corner. And there we go. I think this is probably full enough, let's be honest. It definitely looks like one of my interiors. Um, he can walk to his crafting station. He can't walk to his bed, but we just pretend he can, okay? Um, listen, the villagers need to need to learn how to scooch. They need to learn how to scooch into places. It's very important when it comes to my style of decorating. I am actually really not sure about this, like, yeah, this, like, <laughs> coastal flag situation. It's a little gimmick though. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, let's go talk to uh, Nook 
and try to give T-Bone a different door. But let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this interior? I would definitely like to know in the comments. Do you think it's too full? Do you think there's too many plants for a coastal island? Do you think it's good? Do you think the theme comes across? Let me know everything. And then we'll talk to Tom Nook and we will go ahead and plan the exterior. Um, but like I said, I think this is really only going to be something small because I do like his house. And I think towards the beach is also quite nice that it's so white. Um, I just might actually just want to give him this door. This or something more rustic. No, I think with the type of house oh, or a blue door. I thought maybe this with like a wreath. This or maybe the shell wreath. I'm not sure I like the shell wreath. Uh, so maybe we'll just go with this one with the windows in comparison to this one. It always looks so weird when you when you when you're used to something for such a long time to then change it. But you know what? I think uh, we're going to go ahead and suggest this and then I might just do a very quick time traveling. So we actually see that house the way it is now customized, I guess. And of course, we're going to tell Nook that we're done with the interior. He's going to be like, oh, I don't know, girl, but we're still going to do it. Ooh, and there we are already. OK, it is a similar door to my own, but the one with windows. So I feel like it doesn't actually. Yeah, you don't really notice it that much. Oh, I forgot to. Um, oh, dang it. I forgot. I forgot to order reed fields again. And here we are. So T-Bone actually was just walking around here somewhere. Wasn't he? Oh yeah, they're back there. So we unfortunately can't see his new house with him in it. But there we go for the exterior. You've seen the interior. Let me know all of your thoughts. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed. And also, of course, like this video. That would help a ton. And then I will hopefully see you next time. Bye bye, everyone.